Arkansas is known for its rice. We are, after all, the top rice producing state in the country. And for the first time in history, our rice is making its way to China. Lex Wainwright had a chance to speak with the family who is doing this and exactly what they're getting out of it. Yeah, that's right, Bob. The family tells me that they've always had a goal for their rice to go nationwide, but they never imagined that they would reach a, a deal with China. They reached out to us uh, last fall, late, and it was just a discussion that developed between us and them, and we didn't know if it materialized or not, and, you know, over the winter it did. After receiving an email, Tim and Robin Ralston of Ralston Family Farm sent the first batch of rice to be exported from Arkansas to China in July. It's a blessing to be able to, to have this with China, and we hope that it's not just beneficial for our family, but for all of our Kansans who farm rice. Wednesday, we got a look at their farm. <laughs> There's not very many places you can go and stand in one spot as you are here and see the field of production the storage, the milling, and the distribution. The family owned and operated business started growing their rice in 2018, and things quickly picked up from there. We asked the Roustons what makes them different. Every carton that you pick up, we can tell you exactly what field it came out of, when it was harvested, what those farming practices were. Their family started in Scotland, but has been in Atkins, Arkansas since 1999. The Ralston family has been farming uh, for over 10 generations, actually. That's all they've ever done, and they continue to do that now. On top of doing what they love, they say they enjoy their entire family being involved. And it's just a different atmosphere than going to a, a job, a nine to five job, where you clock in, you clock out. There's a lot of work that has to be done, but we're just very blessed that we're able to do it. And tonight, the family is working on future shipments for China to meet the demand out there. In the meantime, they say they hope to have more rice provided in the future for more European countries. Reporting live tonight in Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, KRK 4 News.